Hello, good day. Welcome to the USA Mini Importation Bootcamp. My name is John Bosco Ife, a digital marketer, business coach, and a blogger. I'm a father and a father of two and husband to a beautiful woman, very beautiful woman, my backbone. Okay, um, I promise to make this video as short as possible and that's why I'll take everything in bits. Back in the days when I left school in 2010, I studied in Enugu State. I studied electrical electronics from the Institute of Management and Technology, IMT. Okay? I didn't want to get a job. I had other ones who were these nine to fivers and I saw them not making anything. No, I didn't see them bringing up something tangible. But my elder brothers who are businessmen were doing very good. So I, I said I was going to do business. From 2011 when I first registered my business, Network Communications, I started by, you know, preparing phones, configuring phones, preparing laptops and all these uh, small, small jobs. But then uh, I needed to explore. So, you know those days, you don't have a laptop, you don't even have uh, data to browse. And uh, so we resort to Cyber Cafe. So, with the Cyber Cafe and everything, I was able to stumble on one of the most powerful business coaches in Nigeria. I paid for the ebook. I think that was uh, 3,500, but that was the genesis of my life turning around. I make a lot of money from mini importation, sometimes six figures, sometimes five figures. And uh, this is not about myself. This is a boot camp, so I am not here to showcase myself. I'm sure a lot of you already know me, so no need. Um, giving summons about myself. The mini importation book camp we've talked about has to go across five things and one of the five things is why should you import? You know this is a big question that runs through the mind of everyone who wants to join a business but why? Now I'm going to tell you the reason. In Nigeria we are big time consumers when I say big-time consumers, I mean we are big-time consumers. We consume everything. And even those things we can afford to produce or manufacture or grow in Nigeria, we prefer the foreign-made products. So why not join the bandwagon, do imports, solve the problem of the Nigerian who needs something to consume, and then on the other hand, make money for yourself and for your family. But now, this is a disclaimer. Whatever figures I mention here, or whatever strategies I show you here, are not typical. You may never have the exact success I have had because I have other experiences that has helped me in life. These experiences are what I harness, I bring all of them together, put them in my head and then flow along. So while I recognize that some people will do better than I have done, I still know that some people are not action takers and I am not liable for your poor results if you do not follow my exact steps. So that's about that. You need to import to solve the problem of the common man in Nigeria and you also need to import because you need to make money for yourself and for your family so that you can stay alive and uh, you can witness the forthcoming election. So. The next question is, who are you importing for? Yes, like I said earlier, you are importing for the common man. The common man does not specify if the person is rich or poor. The common man means anyone who needs those products. Um, I would elaborate on this when we get into the product research um, stage. You will find out that there are different products for different people. What this implies is, before you can choose what products you are importing, you will first have to choose who you are importing these products for. Okay? 
you don't have to import a toothbrush for someone who does not have teeth and you do not need to buy a bleaching cream for someone who is already fair so you need to find out who you are importing for and then choose what products will work for the person I am not diabetic so if you fling a thousand diabetes drugs or therapy before me how do you expect me to buy except maybe I have a relation who is diabetic so you need to get that clear you import what your uh, market needs so it still boils down to the same thing what are you importing say for example there was a time people died for blackberry a lot of people lost very daring things because they wanted to get a blackberry but now the era of a blackberry phone has come and gone it's shifted to Symbian to Android and now it is the iPhone everyone wants to be a member of the Apple family okay if you have the guts to bring an iPhone then you must make sure you have the market for iPhone what do I mean someone like myself I've used an iPhone and I've used an Android iPhone is good but because I prefer a longer lasting battery on my phone and then a powerful laptop for myself I prefer the Android phone but someone else who prefers just the iPhone because he wants to take pictures want to do podcasts and all this you don't tell the person to buy Android so I am Mr. A and Mr. B wants iPhone if you present iPhone to me I will not buy even though I know it's powerful but if you present iPhone to Mr. B who wants to do podcasts, certainly he will buy. So before you import, you must first of all figure out, are you selling to me, Mr. A, or are you selling to Mr. B who needs to do podcasts, okay? But we'll get into finding out the who in our future videos so that I can be able to conclude on the what you will buy, okay? Now remember this is an introductory video and uh, the next videos will be in details. But right now, I want to explain something before we go into the practicals. What is the difference between China and the USA as it relates to mini importation? China happens to be the world power when it comes to production, manufacturing, labor, and when I mean labor, I mean cheap labor. They have a huge workforce, okay? So even some of the made in the USA products we are talking about are made in China. But now, what's the difference? USA products have a standard. So you don't compare products imported directly from, U and from China to products imported directly from the USA now let me give you an example Apple has a, a company a manufacturing company that produces iPhone and it is based in China but now you cannot buy a, a, a iPhone directly from the company in China you must buy iPhone from the distributors who are based in the USA so if you see an iPhone uh, distributor who is in China, there is a 90% chance that you are buying the fake iPhone. Okay? Yeah, uh, there was a joke of someone who bought an iPhone and the iPhone has loud speakers. Okay? And the uh, uh, iPhone also has the Android Play Store. The iPhone has radio. It can watch uh, local television and it also has an antenna so I don't know if that's an iPhone what do you think that's certainly a fake iPhone so sometimes when you go to purchase an iPhone you will see them write something like L phone a phone P phone a Y phone and not the regular iPhone that we know okay so far from that, what 
makes us choose USA is because they have already verified the quality of these products and also because this is place where we are going to buy um, brand products you know uh, Le Lewis shoes you don't get Lewis shoes in China if you get it in China then you've gotten the fake Lewis shoes or a cloned or um, there's something it's called it's called uh, um, as good as original but you know if it is not Panadol it cannot be like Panadol so I cannot overemphasize why we are buying from USA we are buying from USA because we want to get brand for those who like to buy brands and we're also buying from USA because we want to get the original so let's go into the products over here Aliexpress a lot of people are conversant with Aliexpress so they already buy things from Aliexpress but I'm not here to talk about Aliexpress despite the fact that Aliexpress is so deep than many people can imagine Aliexpress is very deep what someone buys for five dollar in Aliexpress I can get it for one dollar on the same Aliexpress so but we are not here to talk about Aliexpress in our future videos who you know make Aliexpress who elaborate on Aliexpress so for China a lot of people go to Aliexpress they go to Alibaba they go to 1688 the CN all these are owned by the same person Jack Ma the Alibaba group okay so these are where other people buy from China there are other places like Taobao JD Pi Pi and all these other websites but right now there is a shift in the market that many people do not know so when they buy from all these famous websites they still have a tons of issues to battle with but here in this bootcamp we want to talk specifically about the USA Amazon and the rest Amazon and the sisters okay why is it sounding like rocket science on Amazon for example you see a lot of books fashion items phones laptops games iPads tablets and there are very many things to buy from kitchen to garden stuff but the major problem here is there is usually no option to ship to places like Nigeria and other countries okay and this becomes a big limitation and some of them who have options of shipping to Nigeria their shipping fees very very ridiculous so in this bootcamp we're gonna learn how to buy from these people pay and get them shipped to us here in Nigeria even if you are living in Sandisa forest okay now but before we go about searching for some item, let me show you something. You will need to know the best selling product first, so that you don't turn yourself into a warehouse. Now this is a Fire TV Stick 4K plus uh, the Echo Dot. It sells for only 70, uh, only for 80 US dollar. Okay, this sounds good because of the features, the recording and how powerful it is but now if you buy this and bring it to Nigeria how many people use a fire TV you see you don't have to buy things because they sound so so powerful because they look so amazing you have to buy something that someone would be, would, would actually buy from you okay so I will tell you how I find out these things first I have an insider on Jumia who gives me links and the list of top selling products let's say for example on um, who will tell you that baby uh, things uh, sell fast on Jumia who will believe that okay, let me show you the kind of things that sell on Jumia you see more fix all these diapers sell on Jumia very fast they sell very very fast on Jumia 
the page I am on is the page that talks about the best, the top selling products on Jumia. And Insider gave me this list and it's been very educating because this gives me an idea of what I should buy. Although I don't buy these things, I don't sell this, but I sell things that look like them. I sell things that are similar. I sell things that serve similar purpose so that my market will be unique. Okay? So this page is for kids and we have other ones like this one for phone. You can imagine the kind of phones that sell on Jimia. See, it's basically Infinix phone, Nokia phone, Journey, Techno, uh, MI, Samsung, you see Telcast, Lenovo, and on this list we have not come across iPhone yet. So those who kill themselves for buying iPhone and all that, you see, on Jumia people buy more of Infinix. And this is Infinix Hot, Hot 5 Lights. This is what people buy. And you are killing yourself, gathering all the money in your father's pocket. And then you are buying iPhone because you hear iPhone is running. No, you don't have to buy things because you hear it about on social media and it sounds like it's running. No, what you need to buy are things that are actually selling. So when you show a picture of iPhone on Facebook, people are like, wow. But do these well convert into money? No, they do not. Okay, but when you get an Infinix Hot 5 Lite, like, like we see here, Infinix Hot 5 Lite, like we see here, when you get something like this, people begin to ask you, how much? Okay, so, to make the long story short, buy products that people are willing to ask you, how much? Them products that people are only capable of saying wow because wow does not convert into cash but how much creates room for cash usually among the people say how much only about 20 percent are expected to buy if you run your adverts very well okay but now when they are saying wow it will end in wow so i hope that's clear so though i have an insider who gave me a link to the best selling product you can also do your own research by going to conga going to gg and all these places and find out things that sell what i do i do not copy them i just you know gain ideas from them i do not replicate them product for product what i do is that i i, I just pick an idea from them okay on the next video we will talk about how to import from US. Today we are able to look around the um, things like why you should import and who you should import for, what you should import, where we talked about uh, buying products that will bring about a question like how much instead of exclamations like wow, okay? you need to import a product that someone would need you do not import a, a, a chewing stick for someone who does not have teeth okay so we also discussed why we buy from USA instead of China because we want to get brand products Nike, Lewis, original iPhones and all of that okay now in the next video we are going to talk about how to actually import these items what payment method will work and we are also going to talk about how to ship these products down to nigeria if you enjoyed this video please like this video and subscribe to this channel so that you will not miss the next video all right that's about that my name is John Bosco Ife. I'm a digital marketer, business coach, and blogger. Have a good day.